Okay, as you can see here, we've filled in the basics.cs file, so I have my two structures. I have a decimal point structure here uh, with the summary information at the top. Uh, I'm using doubles rather than decimal points because there's no need for the precision of a decimal. It makes life a lot easier for having doubles. And I've done the same thing with my point 3D. I've added a two-point method in my decimal point which allows me to convert to a normal point because I'm including the system.drawing namespace and as well as a to point method in my point 3D I'm also doing to decimal point on my point 3D. Note that it just uses the x and y values not the z value. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a new class to our game engine which is called game object. And we're going to set this up as a public class because it's going to be accessible outside of the game engine. And the first thing we're going to do is put in our two variables, which are point 3Ds. The first one is location. And we're going to set the location to 000. And the second is our size. To the test that this actually works, we're going to build the game engine. And I'm going to go into my form one object of my test bed. I'm going to create, I've got my link in my usings to the game engine, so I'm going to create an object of type game object. So game object, I'm going to give it the name obj and create a new game object. And then in the paint, I'm going to change where I've got the rectangle 002020. I'm actually going to get the location as a point and get the X location. I'm just going to copy and paste that as the Y location. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the size, the width and height, but obviously changing it to size rather than location. Now when I run this piece of code, as you'll see, it looks exactly the same. Uh, the ball's in the top left corner at just a fixed 20 by 20 size. But just to check that it is linked to the game object, what I can do is change the location here. Um, for example, if I set the location to say 100, 50, 0, and then I change the size maybe 10 as a width, 40 as a height, I'll leave 20 as a Z because it doesn't really matter. Now when I run the project, as you can see, the ball is a, a lot more elongated and at a different location. So that it's definitely linked the game object to the actual form.